بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس دس از مسز ہمنا شہزاد لیکچرر ان انگلش فرام گورمنٹ ڈگری کالج فار ویمن دبئی میل روڈ بہاول پور ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریکارڈ اے لیکچر فار یو آن اے شارٹ اسٹوری انکلوڈیڈ ان یور سلیبس آف لٹریچر دا ٹرالی مین آئی ووڈ گو تھرو دا سینٹرل فگر آف دا اسٹوری I would see irony of situation in the story, symbolism in the story, and I would see the story as a semi-tragic story. And in the last, we will see the message of the story. Students, first of all, we will study about the central character or figure of the story. As you know that the central figure of the story is Ahmed Bux and the whole story revolves around his character. Ahmed Bux is about 30 years of age with jet black hair, two dark eyes and a mouth that never knew distress. He has been always a contented person and even happy as far as he remember. He has no parents. They died when he was young. He is brought up by his uncle. Presently, life is pleasant for him. He has got a job of trolley man at the station nearby. He is liked by everyone, by everyone as he is helpful for everyone. He helps the vi villagers at plowing, watering, sowing and harvesting. He is a bodily strong person his body can stand the long strains under the hot sun and people and people become wonderstruck seeing him working endlessly he often says i like work people call him good honest soul behind his back he is pleased for it is good to be liked Ahmed Bux is thoroughly an obedient person. He performs his duty with heart and soul. When the station master asks him to take out the trolley, he hurriedly goes and unlocks the room, drags the trolley out of the room and takes it to the rails before he cleans the trolley with a cloth and oils the parts his eyes glitter with pride he enjoys dragging it and clasping its handles he pushes the trolley with force and with grace it needs force and he has it ahmed box becomes a victim of an accident he has lost his leg on the account of station master's fault later on station master acknowledged his fault by saying i forgot to inform the station master of that village i left in a hurry it was the time of 7 o'clock good train the driver did apply the brakes but it was too late i tried to drag you but it was too late The station master further pleaded you won't tell the folk that it was my mistake he is trolley man no longer because he loses his leg he is so forgiving and compromising that he does not tell anybody the secret of his accident he is so courageous that he resolves not to repent or regret over his loss rather he sets up a grocery shop shop type in a partition in his house and starts selling daily groceries he never becomes sorrowful and he works eagerly the villagers eye him with pity admiration and awe women say that he does not 
lose his old cheerfulness. After having settled in few weeks, he pays a visit to Sogran's mother, to whom he is engaged, but he is put off by Sogran's mother. Even on this, he does not lose his heart. In short, Ahmed Bugs is a good, honest person, but he does not have good luck. Students, now, irony of situation in the story. Irony of situation in a story where the difference exists between appearance and reality or expectation and fulfillment or between the actual situation and what would be appropriate. When we read this story, The Trolley Man, we find that the irony of situation prevails in the story. Irony of situation is present in this story because there is difference between expectation and fulfillment. When we read about the personality of Ahmed Bucks, we start expecting that a happy and good, honest person like him would be getting a good reward or happy ending. The personality and the good opinion about Ahmed Bucks good opinion of people about Ahmed Bucks are such that there seems nothing that can hamper his happiness. As I have told you earlier, the good qualities of Ahmed Bucks, like his being honest, his being hardworking, his being contented, happy and helpful. These are the good qualities and positive things about his character. So our expectations about him and about the character like him of happiness in life dash to ground when we see the, the loss of Ahmed Bucks and the treatment of villagers towards him. Although Ahmed Bucks is an ideal person, Yet his station master puts his life in danger, saves himself and lets his life crushed by an accident. He loses one of his legs on the account of station master's fault. He loses his job as he is trolley man no longer. That is why it can also be said that his Fate is also cruel that does not take pity on him. He is a courageous person and he does not make his disability a hurdle in his way. He sets up a grocery shop and starts earning his livelihood. He is engaged to Sogra and after some time he pays a visit to Sugra's mother and he is put off by Sugra's mother. This treatment is also not expected, not by him and not by the readers as well. Ahmed Bucks has a re resolution and power to fight with his circumstances but he has not power enough to fight with his fate. So the person having these qualities can expect a good reward from life and from the society people. But all the expectations of Ahmed Bucks and that of the readers are dashed to ground and this is the irony of situation which prevails dominantly in the story. Now we will see the story as a semi-tragic story. The story, the trolley man has tragic dimensions. For example, the protagonist of the story, Ahmed Bucks, has a great soul and he shows the greatness of his soul by his passion, of, passion for work, by forgiving the station master 
by bearing his ill luck manly and by overcoming his misfortune the second thing that gives this story a tragic dimension is the sense of loss that is aroused among the readers because of the loss of ahmed bux ahmed bux was a useful member of the society he was helpful for everybody he was at he was there at plowing watering sowing and harvesting his strong body could stand long strains under the hot sun and when people observed him working endlessly they became they became wonderstruck he was a man of great resolution in spite of his disability he managed to earn his livelihood if the person of this nature comes to the bad end one feels that the great damage has been done to the whole society however this story is not a tragedy in all respects because catastrophe has not occurred on the account of the wrong step taken by its protagonist the catastrophe occurs because of chance and ill luck of the protagonist of the story that is why the story is not a tragic story and does not have big caliber this story comes to an end at a note of helplessness and pessimism because of this end the story cannot be called a tragedy it's being full of sorrow and suffering also does not make it a tragedy if this story were to be a tragic its protagonist should have sacrificed his life and if it had happened it could create the sense of regeneration and rebirth on the other hand and opposite to it it is the story of the ill luck and misfortune of a person fighting against loss students now the message of the story now we will see the message of the story and find out whether it is optimistic or pessimistic students in order to deduce the message of the story we have to analyze the story on three levels or we have to analyze three things in the story first the personality of ahmed bux the treatment of the society meted out to him and his final reaction first of all the personality of ahmed bux and students you have learned a lot up till now about the personality of ahmed bux as he was happy and healthy man life was pleasant for him he was contented he was helpful and hard working he is there at plowing watering sowing and harvesting his strong body could stand long strains under the hot sun ahmed bux was a trolley man at the at the railway station he was liked by the villagers and villagers acknowledged his goodness and called him a good honest soul behind his back in spite of his handicap he showed courage and he set up a small grocery shop in his house to manage his livelihood he did not make his handicap the hurdle of his way he did not lose his old cheerfulness even after his loss or accident the second important area of analysis is how the society treats ahmed bux first treatment comes from the station master he asks ahmed bux to take out the trolley he he obeys the orders of his station master but the treatment of station master is not good towards him when a train overtakes them the station master 
saves his life and let Ahmed Bucks trampled by the train. Later on, he himself admits his fault, saying, I forgot to tell the station master of that village. I left in a hurry. It was the time of seven o'clock goods train. I tried to drag you away, but it was too late. The driver did apply brakes. His other remarks add fuel to fire. He says, you won't tell the folk that it was my fault. However, it can be said that he suffers a great loss on the account of station master's fault. Criminal carelessness, or we can say it. Ahmed Bucks receives the second treatment from Subran's mother. Ahmed Bucks, as you already know, is engaged to Subran. When he demands the hand of Sugra, Sugra's mother puts him off and turns her eyes. And she does this because of his disability. It was a dark evening when Ahmed Bucks returned from the house of Sugra's mother. He blew out the flame of oil lamp and laid down flat on his bed. The stars were beginning to appear, and soon the whole sky was studded with them. He looked at the Milky Way to where it just disappeared into nothingness. Students, it can be understood that a gem-like person is crucified by the materialistic society. In his final reaction, though symbolically, Ahmed Bucks shows that he has been cruci crucified by the society. For example, his blow blowing out the oil lamp, his lying down flat on his bed, show his crucifixion. Or these are the symbols of his crucifixion. In the end, he scans the Milky Way to nothingness. This means that he revisits the days of his happy past till he reaches his dark end. So it can be seen that the message is very clear that a good person having good qualities cannot prosper in this materialistic world. Moreover, the message, uh, the message is very pessimistic. However, all is not dark. The nature does not forget his goodness and his failure. The nature expresses its report for him by illuminating the sky with countless stars. Students, with this we come to the end of this lecture. I wish you good luck for your exams. Allah Hafiz from my side.